Hello students, good morning and namaste. You are most welcome to your online class of physical education. Today again we are going to discuss same chapter effect of exercise on human body and topic was skeleton system effect of exercises on skeleton system in this in our previous lectures we discussed about a lot types of bones as well as types of joints today's topic is again connected with this skeleton system and it is types of joint movements in physical education type of joints movement so today's main topic is about movements actually how various joints move has been already briefly or we can say in detail we explained earlier today we have to talk about joint movement in physical activities from biomechanical view of points first of all i am going to give you brief introduction of movements from biomechanically from biomechanically view of points movements of joints are lateral movement of joints are lateral angular circular lateral angular circular rotational so these are the movements notably when bones are joined they become capable of performing variety of movements when bones are joined bones are joined with each other they became capable of when bones are joined with each other they become capable of performing performing variety of movements variety of
perhaps no single bone can perform any movement by itself it does so with the help of other bones so it is not possible for single bone to move left or right it does with the help of other bones as the hip joint pivot joint ball and socket joint and the saddle joint perform the following precise movements and what are they number 1 flexion flexion actually flexion is characterized by bending parts at a joint characterized by bending parts by bending parts at a joint means flexion means when you are going to bend your elbow like this it this movement will called flexion so that the angle between them when you are going to flex your arms like this you are going to bend your elbow like this the angle between these joints decreases angle will be decreases and the parts come closer together and the parts come closer live example is here when you are curling with dumbbells the parts are coming closer for example bending the elbow lower limb at knee and the flanges so angle between two bones will be decreases at the time of flexion and knee flexion and elbow flexion is the best example for it at the time of curling for example like this both of the parts are coming closer so this movement is called flexion and next movement is extension extension it is opposite of the flexion extension extension is just opposite to flexion and is characterized by straightening parts characterized by
straightening part at a joint. This is flexion and when these bones will be as it is, as they were, will called extension. This movement is called extension and this movement will called flexion. So extension is just opposite the flexion. So it is characterized by strengthening parts at a joint so that angle between them increases. So that angle increases Here, angle in between is going to be decreased and in extension it is going to be increases. So that the parts move further apart. Parts move. And here, straighten the lower limbs and the knee or the elbow. It is flexion. Both of the limbs are coming closer together. And in extension, it is just opposite to flexion. Next movement is abduction. Abduction. It is a frontal plane outward movements. Is a frontal plane outward movement. What is in it? Moving a part away from the midline of the trunk of the body. For example, you are stretching your arms like this. This movement is called abduction. Because here, moving a part away from the midline of the trunk of the body. So, moving a part away away from the body of the trunk. So, when we are going to stretch our arms in sideways like this, this movement is called abduction. Lifting the upper limbs horizontally to from a right angle with the side of the body is the best example. Next movement is adduction. Adduction. Again, just like flexion and extension, this adduction is just opposite of abduction. So it is a 
opposite of abduction it is opposite of abduction a movement medically toward the midline of the body here here a movement medically a movement medically toward the midline midline of the body so this is adduction just opposite to abduct abductions for example bringing down the arms that is already raised to shoulder level is adduction as in a jumping jack it is called abduction and when this part of the body will be as it is as it was earlier will called adduction so here movement medically towards the midline of the body so example is what bringing down the arms bringing down the arms raised to shoulder raised to shoulder level raised to shoulder level so this is the best example of this adduction movement next is rotation 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 is a movement in which the bone moves around a central point without being displaced rotation is a movement rotation is a movement in which the bones in which the bones around a central point moves around a central point without being displaced without being displaced such as turning the head from side to side such as turning the head from side to side this movement is called or this movement is called rotational rotation medial rotation involves movement toward the midline whereas 
lateral rotation involves movement in the opposite direction. The rotational movement can be internal and external. Rotation occurs at ball and socket joint. So examples include rotation of the neck or we can say rotation of the adrenoxial joint as you are rotating it in any side like this. So this is rotation. Next is circumduction. Circumduction. It is a combination of all movements such as adduction, abduction, extension, and as well as flexion. So we can say it is a combination. It is a combination of all movements such as flexion, extension, abduction. Production flexion, extension, abduction, and rotation. So, this is the combination of all the movements as we discussed earlier. Flexion, extension, adduction, abduction, and rotation, and occurs at multi axial and occurs and occurs multi axial joints multi axial joints it follows a pine cone shaped path of movements example are the movement of the humerus at the shoulder and the femur at the hip when you are doing your movement like this, it is the example of circumduction. It is also commonly seen in ball and socket joint. It is also seen in Ball and socket joints where the proximal end of the limbs is stationary while the distal end moves in a circle like this. This is the movement of circumduction. The movements can be performed inward as well as outward. In this 
मूवमेंट कैन बी परफॉर्म कैन बी परफॉर्म आउटवर्ड एंड इनवर्ड बोथ दिस साइड इन साइड एंड आउट साइड बोथ यू कैन मूव योर आर्म्स सो दीज आर दी मूवमेंट्स सो टोटल मूवमेंट्स आर फ्लेक्शन extension it is just opposite to flexion when your joints two parts of the body are coming together that is flexion and it is extension is just opposite to flexion abduction it is a frontal plane outward movement moving a part away from the body and adduction is totally opposite opposite to abduction here both of the parts are coming together again rotation it is a movement in which the bones moves around a central point without being displaced such as turning the head from side to side same circumduction it is a combination of all movements as earlier we discussed so these are the movements and our today's topic about types of joints movement is completed in our next lecture we will come on the specific topics important topic what are the effect of exercises on skeletal system so for today Have a nice day and thank you